What comes to mind when you think of things affecting your mental health? Do you think of childhood trauma or abuse? It's true that these events have severe effects on your mental health, but did you know that even small things can also impact you? They might even be more tricky because you don't recognize them. To help you avoid some of them, here are the six small but harmful things that destroy your mental health. Number one, bad posture. Let's be honest, posture might be the last thing in mind when you think of mental health. But it matters. According to a study from the Journal of Behavior Therapy and Experimental Psychiatry, a person's terrible posture does have an impact on your mood. The experiment shows that people with bad posture report higher stress levels and a lower mood than those who stand up tall when put in these same difficult situations. Those with straighter postures report an improved mood, higher self-esteem, and reduced fatigue in the same difficult situations. Good and upright posture posture also provides focus and attention, even in stressful situations, and can boost your confidence, not to mention the health benefits for you physically. Number 2. Clutter Marie Kondo, a well-known organizing consultant, says that we only need to keep things that spark joy. Decluttering has increased in popularity over the years, and according to a study, rightfully so. Research from the current psychology journal claims that clutter is highly related to procrastination. When you are surrounded by an overwhelming mess, you tend to put off cleaning. Before you know it, it just feels impossible to organize. This cycle often leads to frustration, which in turn affects your mental health. Another study from the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology shows that clutter increases cortisol levels, your stress hormone. Reorganizing is not just for aesthetics, it can also improve our mental health. Number 3. Self-deprecating jokes Laughter is the best medicine, but when you are the joke, it's a different story. Self-deprecating jokes are undervaluing or belittling yourself through humor. Research from the University of Granada suggests that it is a sign of self-awareness and that a person is not taking themselves seriously. It can also be a sign of great well-being in small doses. But when you do it too often and it becomes a habit, self-deprecating jokes can be detrimental to your mental health. Constant self-deprecating jokes can create cognitive distortions when you start to believe that your jokes are you. It creates a different notion of yourself, affecting your self-identity, and is linked to depression and dysphoria. A balance of how and when to make fun of yourself is the key to healthy humor and mental health. Number 4. Selfie but first, let me take a selfie, says a famous song in the 2010s pop era. The selfie has become such a cultural icon, where many social media platforms are centered around it. It is also fun to do. But the negative effects of this everyday activity can be detrimental. Several studies have already shown the consequences of selfies on body image and mental health. In a new study by Mills in 2018, this conclusion is even expanded, showing that even selfies that are retaken and retouched for a better result still resulted in a negative self-image. They show similar body consciousness and anxiety to those who did not edit or retouch their images. Number 5. Multitasking Multitasking is highly valued. Companies hire those who can multitask to increase productivity and revenue. While accomplishing a lot feels good, multitasking has its negative effects on mental health. Multitasking is correlated to irritability and an overall lower mood. Because you take on so many activities at once, you put yourself in highly stressful situations. This can make being productive ironically harder and sacrifice the quality of work. Sometimes, it's best to focus on one thing at a time. Number 6. Venting or complaining Venting or complaining has its benefits. Being open about your emotions can help you express your mind because life can be hard sometimes. But when you do it too much and too often, it can have detrimental effects on your mental health. According to experts, venting is part of your body's emotional response when something is not right. It is your body's way to satisfy your emotional needs. Venting will help you find other perspectives about certain matters, but when you vent too much, you might lose sight of another perspective that might have provided a better idea. You block cognitive soothing and you lose your trail in negative thoughts, affecting your mental health. 
Scientists also believe that too much venting will open the way for you to put a strain on your relationships. A good balance of speaking and listening is the balance you need to have when you vent. As small as these things may seem, they can have huge effects on our mental health. Try to notice these things and improve them the next time because these small steps could lead to better mental health. Please let us know what you thought of this video down below. If you liked it, please give it a like and share it with someone you think will benefit from it. Remember to subscribe to Psych2Go to keep up with our uploads. Take care.